up you it's Zandos TCG here welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel today we're checking out Reggie Gigas once again so if you guys are hyped let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button and if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to recheck if you are subscribed because we are uh, slowly but steadily making our way to 100,000 subscribers so it's gonna be one quite uh, legendary moment if I say so myself with that being said uh, Reggie Gigas is back and that's because of the uh, carrier that we're actually getting with uh, surging sparks the precious strolly here Searching the deck for any number of basic uh, Pokemon and lets, them, uh, lets us put them on the bench, which is cool. Another great thing that we have is the area zero under depth and a Pokemon that is not able to get one shot at uh, Pikachu EX. Pikachu EX is also going to become one of our main attackers uh, because you're going to be able to uh, quite easily one shot a lot of Pokemon in the format. And definitely in combination with Kieran, you can even go to the 330 damage output. Resolute Heart makes sure that you not get one shot at instead your remaining HP becomes 10 instead. You can also power up Raiding Greninja through the means of the Ancient Wisdom that's going to allow you to uh, attach 3 uh, energy cards from this Carpel to one of your Pokemon. So uh, because you're eight, uh, you have 8 bench Pokemon because of Area 0 under that, you can even start swinging with uh, other Pokemon. Like for example, you can even start using Cruel Arrow of the Pheasantipity. There are uh, a lot of things you can do with this deck. You can attack with Regidraco, you can attack with uh, a Registeel. There's a lot of stuff possible for sure. We have the Turo to sometimes pick up one of your damaged Pokemon or sometimes they trap a Regigigas in the active position which is kind of annoying. But then there's also two switch cards to help out with that. We're going to be uh, going very turbo with Squack ability and all that stuff but just make sure you can have space for all six Regis on play so you can power up uh, yeah, and use Ancient Wisdom at your disposal. So we're going to be checking out this 60. If you guys are excited, let me know by uh, yeah uh, leaving a great comment right there. The comment section is open. Let me know what you think about the Regis. Are they totally back? Who knows? We're going to be checking it out today in this video. Also, go check out the sponsors that make this video possible. Dragonshield.com for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. You can get 5% off using the coupon ZAPDOS5. TC Evolutions for your, sleeve, uh, for your uh, damage counters and ability tokens. You can get 10% off uh, your order. Uh, Potownstore.com for your... Uh, TCG Live code card needs, you can get 5% off as well. And cardmarket.com for European players where you're able to buy as well as sell cards to people all across Europe. All right, let's see what Regigigas is capable of. I don't mind going second with Regis because you're going to instantly... Okay, we can go first, sure. Let's see what uh, kind of archetype this is because if we're up against like a very turbo aggro deck, it's actually a very great matchup. Okay, we start off with a Regilecki. All right, uh, nothing else to do here. I think I will get out. Okay, there's a Raikou. So it's a very aggressive deck. Let's go. Uh, we have the Luminous Energy. We have the Nuzball. I think I'll Nuzball. I'll get myself this fella. Raiding Greninja is great. Or we can get the Squackability out instantly so we can get some more stuff. Like, more stuff is always good. Let's get the Terra Pokemon into play. We can also uh, put Ultra Ball shenanigans going. I'm going to actually get rid of the Pheasantipity here. I know, it's crazy. I'm gonna get out Reggie Draco. Uh, let's go. We're gonna slap that down. We're gonna switch card right here. I'm actually gonna be giving a uh, Luminous Energy. Uh, this actually uh, is providing uh, one Rainbow Energy, which is actually super nice. So I'm actually gonna be uh, equipping that to a Pikachu. We're gonna be drawing four cards with Reggie Draco. Oh boy, does it feel good to be back. Okay, one Reggie. Two Regis. Uh, let's go. And now we uh, squawk and seize away. Get rid of that hand. We don't need that. And uh, the rest of the Regis pop off quite easily. There's a Lightning Energy in the discard pile already. It's very difficult to pull off this situation. We don't have Raiding Greninja thrown in the, in the mix. But let's just tin out the deck and see what the opponent is throwing at us. We are ending the turn. Okay, because Pikachu cannot get one-shotted, uh, we can actually take four prizes with the Pikachu quite easily. We can also uh, win the prize race that way, so we just have some time. We can also use Regilecki to get uh, a card back from the discard pile. In that sense, probably going to be the Pheasantipity. If I had to guess here with um, Night Shredder Super Rod and all that stuff, they're going to switch into Pheasantipity here. Uh, rescue board as well. Probably going to be a... Oh, no, nothing else happening. Okay. Okay, we have... Now let's just power this one up slowly but steadily, right? Uh, we also have nothing to do, so... <laughs> yeah, tricky. Let's just go for the, the manual way. Uh, I think we've already discarded uh, two switch cards, so the only way we can get the Pikachu off is a Turo. So, interesting. Lightning Energy under a Raikou. They're gonna retreat. They're gonna swing some damage here. Fleet footed. Are they gonna knock us out? 120. 140. They could knock us out. That's fine. 
and then we can try to get Raiding Greninja thrown up in the mix so we can actually... We have all the rest of the Regis in hand regardless. Uh, you just need to have that setup going. Squackability also gives up three prizes if they go for Iron Hands, I know, but uh, we can actually throw that up if we have the opportunity to do so. And as this uh, Maridom deck that I most likely am up against is actually not able to do it a lot, we're gonna have the first two prizes, unless they don't decide to knock on Regidrago, gives us even more time. So you have draw power with Regidrago, you have draw power with Greninja, Regis are back. For a Seal Stone, uh, we don't have the fighting energy uh, in the deck because against most decks that you want to be using fighting weakness, you just use Pikachu instead. So for the people that were wondering, we cannot attack with Regirock, unfortunately. All of our switch outs are gone though, so that's a little bit tricky. They can actually trap Regigigas. Bossosaurus. Are they gonna go for Pikachu? Or are they gonna try and trap Regigigas? They're gonna knock out the Squack ability for two prizes. Okay, that leaves, uh, that creates more room, I suppose. Ow. That's a two prize turn, ladies and gents, but now the Pikachu will come into play. Allowing it to actually knock out this Raikou quite easily. We have Hasuin Heavy Ball to work with. There is Reggie Rock as well. We have a Reggie Steel in hand, so interesting. We actually need uh, Area Zero under depth, so uh, we're actually gonna be attaching energy here. We're gonna use the Nest Ball to get our good friend Raiding Greninja thrown up in the mix. And then all the rest of the Regis are in hand, which is very great. Let's go draw power. Uh, there's a boss's orders as well. Interesting. We can go for the Fez. This one can attack again. All the rest cannot attack again. Interesting. Yeah, let's just knock it out. Bam! Pikachu does discard all of its energies, but that's totally fine. As it will tank a hit. And uh, we have uh, Greninja power once more. Uh, the only thing we need is Area Zero under that to power. Here it is! We can power up the Pikachu EX again. Alright, uh, I know if they damage us they can amp us for 3 prizes, but that's still not going to be enough to win them the game. And uh, as soon as we slap down Area Zero under that, we can slap down all the rest of the Regis and uh, yeah, I'm totally back with the Regis, let's go. Let's see if they can come back with another attacker. Uh, nothing can deal with Pikachu unless they go come back with Kansen and Cologne. Also very nice up against stuff like Regidraco V-Star is that you can actually uh, one-shot it very easily with the attack, so... Maridon, okay, uh, they're gonna uh, tandem units, but nothing can one-shot Pikachu. Our remaining HP will become 10 instead, meaning we can attack once more. If our Pikachu gets removed from play though, uh, we need to discard all of our Regis, so the most likely scenario is that we slap down another Pikachu, as well as all of our Regis. Because the maximum amount of Pokemon you can have is 9, that means 6 Regis and 3 bench sitters. Here comes tandem unit. Okay, they come back with a Pikachu of their own, but that Pikachu is not going to be doing too much in my opinion, as they don't come back with the necessary energies. Uh, the cool thing though, if we're up against Maridon, is that Area Zero under depth will most likely stay in play unless they're playing Vacuum or any other stadium. How cool. Cards from Ancient Origin. They are literally back. They will rotate very shortly, but that's it. Okay, they can actually go for the Iron Bundle, which will make things a little bit difficult, although we can actually use Reggie Lecky. Uh, let's see if our Discard Pal is somewhere. Yeah, we can actually, oh, they're gonna go for the Electro Ball? Well, okay, 10 damage, sure. We do have the Balsas Orders here, which is totally awesome. So, Area Zero under depth. We have a Reggie Rock, a Reggie Steel, and now we can actually use Ancient Wisdom to power up Pikachu once more. Here we go, we have this energy, a lightning energy, and a metal energy, there we go. We go for bosses orders on probably the Fez, if I had to guess. So we boss up this one. We do slap down another Pikachu, so we ensure our win condition, and we might even draw some cards as well, so we can ensure we have some more stuff that we can do. Grass energy here, as the one retreat to cost Pokemon, and let's go! Pikachu! Annihilate! Uh, let's go! The only thing that can deal with the Pikachu is a 2 prize Pokemon, so... Even if they knock us out, another Pikachu is waiting. 
<laughs> like imagine you play on the rank ladder and you're getting like destroyed by uh, a Reggie Gigas Pikachu deck. Like that should be feeling pretty pretty cool, right? Like uh, this situation, like if you see it, like we have all the six Regis, we have double Pikachu and Red Ra Raiding Greninja. So what can they do in this situation? I know all of our switch outs are gone. They are both gone, but we still have the Turo, so at least we have that. We have nice stretch to get an energy and all that. We can even manually power up Pikachu. Let's see what they come back with, because we keep on slapping 300 a turn. 300, 300, 300. Our list currently actually is only playing one boss's orders, because we typically uh, are facing with multiple prize Pokemon that deal with uh, these one prizers. And in this format, there's not a lot of one prize decks out there. Ancient Box has seen a decline in play. And most of the uh, cards in the format are two prizers. All the liability Pokemon, Luminion, um, Pheasantipede, Squackability, you name it. You might even throw in an Iron Hands if you want to take additional prize cards. You can also attack with Radiant Greninja. So, yeah, maybe we should throw in an Iron Hands. That actually is not a bad idea. If we're up against something like Gardevoir, it's going to be way more difficult, I suppose. But... You can also use Radiant Greninja if you're not playing Manaphy. Generator. Attachment on the Iron Hands. Bravery Charm on the Iron Hands. Are gonna go up oh, Prime Catcher? Who's it gonna be? Regigigas? 160? Arm Press for 160. Now it's not doing anything. <laughs> we have another one in hand, so. Easy as pie. Let's put this one up. Another Pikachu. Here we go. Regigigas. The Ancient Wisdom ability. The only thing we need is uh, a Lightning Metal. Why don't we just put everything on there? Let's go. Pikachu! 300! Like, even the Bravery Charm does not face Pikachu whatsoever. One, two, three. And we're done. Boom. So... That was very strong showing of the attack of Pikachu and uh, the way he can consistently power it up. People were also thinking about playing Pikachu EX with uh, Lost Box and the Mirage Gate. I think that's also a, a clever way to power up Pikachu, but this feels way more fun. You cannot deny that. Like, and we also have the Trolley that we actually did not use. Uh, if you have access to like a supporter early on, like an Irida, uh, where you can actually fetch it out, it's fine. But even without it, you have a lot of draw power. I'm, I'm very used to use, using the uh, Dragon's Forge Reggie Draco um, to actually draw cards. Okay, we're in the Lugia tier, my favorite tier. <laughs> let's go. Um, okay, let's dive into some games with the Reggie's deck. I'm very curious to see how this will go. This is one of those 60s that actually uh, recently did okay in the Grey's Poke League. Uh, big shout out to huge Hugo F for uh, yeah, getting a reasonable result with Regis. Opponent allows us to go first, so that can only mean three things. Roaring Moon, Maridon, or Raging Bull. Uh, us going first in this situation could have been scary, but luckily we do come back with an Ultra Ball. Uh, we can get the Squack involved. We can get the... okay. They come back with Blood Moon, sure. Um, interesting. I'm gonna go Ultra Ball, gonna get rid of these. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna get myself, I think I'll get Radiant Greninja. And then I also get the Squack. I'm just gonna go Turbo here. That's the best plan of action. I could still wait with Squack and just get out these. Let's go with that. I don't know, think they're gonna be able to attack turn one. It could be crazy, but I don't think so. And I will be getting out this Pikachu. The rest can be searched out later. Definitely when the Precious Trolley is in the deck. I, I should have checked if it was in the deck, but I just... Let's just say heart of the cards, you know? They come back with a Hasuin uh, Heavy Ball to start the... Oh, it's a Lost Box deck. Okay, interesting. They do start with Blood Moon. They probably come back with some Switch Outs. Cool thing is that this deck can actually attack with... Um, Greninja, so you can actually take two Pokemon down because of Moonlight Shuriken if everything goes the way we wanted it to go. There's a Colorus. Their Manaphy is in the Lost Zone. You're gonna regret that, sir. You will regret that. 
Kong Fei, so that's gonna be the third copy in the lost zone. Uh, yeah, the Resolute Heart ability is great, but yeah, if the opponent is able to save a life first, is a little bit less great, right? But they come back with this Blood Moon, which we can take down with our Pikachu, so I did discard Boss's orders, but we do another Manaphy? What? Double Manaphy. Coming back with double Manaphy. And they're retreating it as well. That is very weird, but yeah. Uh, Regigigas and research. Okay, we have the zero area under that. We come back with this one. We're gonna check our prizes real quick. Okay, Precious Trolley was in actually uh, the prizes. Sure. Um, the most powerful energy of the bunch is the Luminous that we're gonna be discarding first. Get rid of that. Could have Nest Ball first. But we have another research for later. I think in this scenario, the best plan of action is actually using uh, a Nest Ball here. We're gonna get our Reggie Draco. Let's go. Yes. I don't need the Lightning Energy for the Reggie Draco currently. So I will just get this over here. And uh, I will save this energy. They're probably not gonna go alter our hands. I'm gonna go for the uh, Sonar. And that allows us to get a card from the discard pile. And I will take a Nest Ball. That means we can get all the Regis out. Or maybe we go for the Irida. Irida, nah. Let's just take the Nest Ball. We do have Switch cards in this list as well. Okay, could have gotten any of these cards. We could have gotten the Boss's Orders as well, but yeah, they're coming back with the Manaphy. They do have Switch card again. Four cards in the Lost Zone. The Manaphy is annoying though. If they don't have Manaphy, we could have attacked with Raiding Ninja, which we don't currently. Maybe I should have gotten back our Boss's Orders, but if I do plan on going for research, it's less relevant. TM Diva goes away. Definitely not up to 10 quite yet. This only attacks the bench, by the way, so that's kind of annoying. Spit innocently, here they come. We do come back with Turos and stuff, so that's kind of funky. Another research. Okay, area zero under death. We go this one first. Luminous energy again. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can actually power up this one and then power up another one, so that, that can be kind of tricky. Um, yeah, this one was nothing. There's nothing in there. But the Palpat is in there, so that's very bad for our boss's order situation. Uh, Nazball, let's get ourselves a Red Eyes. And then the only fella missing the party currently is the Red Rock. We can actually accelerate here, then retreat, and then attack with something else. That is the main plan of action. Uh, research. Maybe I should have done that differently. Currently in our, yeah. We can actually attack with Registeel, by the way, so that's cool. Uh, Registeel is here. And Nitro, I actually should have slapped down my uh, Registeel, by the way, yeah. Why did I do that little misplay? Nobody will ever know. Go with this. Uh, luckily, we do compact with other situations. Uh, Earthen Vessel, get these. Get more energy. We have the metal, grass, even the water. Yeah, I think I will attack with Registeel. But the grass energy also needs to be in there, right? Lightning energy will be there. That's fine. This is fine. Okay, so. Gigaton. Uh, actually, Ancient Wisdom number one. Go with that. That's fine. We will retreat. And at this point, you can either choose to go uh, swinging with Pikachu, which actually is not a bad idea, but then they're gonna trap us, right? Yeah, they're gonna have to two-shot this. They're gonna have to two-shot this, which is actually not bad. Or we can attack with Registeel, but they're gonna trap Regigigas and it'll be trapped. So that's something I really don't wanna be seeing. So I'm actually gonna swing with the Pikachu. One, two, three. Let's go. That means all of our energies are in the discard pile, so they cannot trap any of these Pokemon. And we come back with Turo as well. Maybe we get the Palpat. We get the Palpat. No, we get an energy. 
Yeah, Manaphy is annoying. They can sprinkle and dance hit with Blood Moon. That means they take three prizes. But then we can respond to the Blood Moon once again to take two prizes ourselves. We have taken the first prize, which is great. Choice Bell goes away. Two TM Devos. Yeah. Very curious to see how this will end. I'm expecting Regigigas to be trapped at one point. Or if we power up energies. We need to always make sure that we cannot get trapped. Even though we do come back with a couple of switch cards. We have not seen them quite yet. Kirin is also gone. They need to Sableye here. They're at 10 cards in the loss zone. They need to Sableye. Uh, put 1 damage counter on Pikachu. 2 on a Regilecki. And then 9 where... Oh, Redzard. Maybe... Sableye's prize. It's a one-off, right? Secret box. Yeah, if they have the Sableye, now is the time to use it. Or they can use it later, just swing with uh, Zard. But the problem with that is if we do draw into Turo, that's going to be a, a useless turn. So we need to find Turo ASAP. And I wish they didn't slap down Manaphy. That means we could have like used the Radiant Greninja to take two prizes. What will they grab with the secret box? Find out today. Yeah, the Pikachu. Okay, there is Temple of Sinnoh. Okay, that can slow us down. Definitely because we need to discard Pokemon. But if they slap down the temple now, I'm actually getting rid of my Regilecki instantly. So that's removing all the damage there. So yeah, it's a, an interesting scenario. I wonder what they will do. Maybe they think we have, we can attack then because we're slow, solely relying on the Luminous Energies. Okay, they plan on attacking with Red Zard here. And a Mirage Gate again. <laughs> they attack with, oh, that's a lot of Mirage Gate for a Red Zard. Switch card as well. Are they gonna stop down the temple now? Please, yeah, perfect. Let's get rid of this, let's get rid of that. And I could get rid of the Greninja here, but I want to be drawing more cards. If we snap on another area zero under that, we can replace Regice. Regice. All right. Cologne. What? Okay, I was not expecting that. What in the world? Okay, that is that is kind of funky. I did not expect. All of that. That is crazy. That is totally nuts. Yeah, and now, because I didn't discard Greninja, I cannot respond here because I don't have the Pikachu. Man, that was a crazy play. Yeah, we have all the Regis, but nothing can work with this. With this. What? Yeah, I'm just gonna put one energy here, just so it's safe. Fez is also not gonna do anything. <laughs> what was that? Cologne? Yeah, the Cologne play was insane. Countercatcher goes away, that makes sense. Three Psychic Energies on the Zard though, so if they want to use it, they'll have to retreat it. Then Super Rod, and Sableye, maybe the Sableye is still prized. Yeah, I could have fast here, but I need to actually, my last bench spot needs to be the Pika, so I can actually use Area Zero under that. There's the Sableye. That is nuts. Maybe let's go for deck out. Three switch cards gone, one switch here, two switch there. That's a couple of switch outs, but yeah, we cannot go for deck out because we have one boss Zorus in the discard pile and we're not able to use, okay, they're not attacking. Cool. Iono time, okay, that's cool. So we can slap down area zero under that. 
we can use the concealed cards. Get rid of this. There is a switch out, which means we can technically attack with this one. Uh, yeah. Not the way we need Pika. Okay, that is very good. Uh, Night Stretcher, we get Pika. Slap down Pika. Slap down Reggie Lecky. And slap down Regis. Okay, now we are back. And let's see what we can pack with. We can even draw some more cards here. So let's see here. Grass, Luminous, and a regular energy is fine. Let's put this energy here. Yeah. And then we draw more cards with the Dragon's Horde. And we will have boss at one point, right? Perfect. Okay, now we Ancient Wisdom energies onto our Regidraco. This one. This one. This one. And we fire away, knocking out the Radiant Zard. Okay, the problem is uh, we could get sprinkled and then knocked out, but we have to use Pikachu to take a two prizer here. They can sprinkle. Ah, uh, we still have Turo, right? Where is the Turo? Yeah, we need to boss in the late game as well, but the Turo is literally more important right now. Four prizes, four prizes. Ooh, another cram. Three psychics into this car pal. One super rod here. One super rod there. So maybe they're running out of psychic energies. That would be a dream scenario as well. Yeah, they're just gonna be swinging with the cram. Yeah, this is fine. Pokemon. Uh, yeah, we have all of them available. Another Reggie Draco. Uh, we could retreat and then start swinging with Reggie Steel. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Retreat. Oh, uh, yeah. Or swing with Regigigas. Nah, wait with that. Ancient Wisdom. Metal. Luminous. And Lightning. And we swing. Again. Heavy Slam. Where is our Palpat? Couldn't find a Palpat. I need the Palpat ASAP, by the way. Yeah, at one point they will sprinkle here. Roxanne. That is useful. There's the Roxanne. We can always throw away the Pikachu. We find that. What a crazy matchup. Like that Cologne play came out of nowhere. Like typically people do not play Cologne. So Resolute Heart is OP, but in this scenario less so. And if they only have one Super Rod, uh, they're gonna have to put all their damage counters perfectly to attack with Sableye. That's probably their main issue currently. I think there's a Super Rod priced and they did not Proceed. They, they went really turbo to, f to go for Cologne plays. Uh, also, Blood Moon still not able to attack. It needs uh, two more energies, so not an attach of turn is possible. Yeah, Super Rod being gone, Mirage Gate being gone, Double Mirage Gate being used. Okay, Iron Bundle. Hyper Blower. Hmm. What to do here? Hyper blower. Let's go with this guy. Comes back with gift energy, so if they knock it out with the blood moon, we draw a lot of cards, so it seems nice. Lost vacuum. Get rid of this, get rid of this. That makes sense. Our Pikachu is, has been removed. We still come back with Super Rod to get it back if need be. 
But currently we are focused on uh, this scenario. Also, Reggie Rock cannot attack, so maybe adding in a fighting energy in the list would be very good. Area Zero Under Depth is already here. I'm actually gonna... We still have switch cards, but I think... I think I'll attack with Reggie Steel once again. And we can power up another Pokemon if we want to. But we have another Registeel in hand, so that's that's cool. Boom! Come on, Palpat, where are you at? <laughs> the trolley! Is that's just trolling, man? But we can technically use area zero under that. No, nah, not really. We are now locked and loaded. We can no longer swing with our situation. They can still come back with Blood Moon to attack. They only have one card in deck. Flower selecting? Is that the Super Rod? Interesting situation. We are all one prizers, by the way. So whatever happens, okay, there is the Super Rod. They can Sable Sprinkle. But there's three cards. Oh, they're adding in the Red Zard as well. So do they have energies? Mirage Gate? They probably have a Mirage Gate left. Maybe I should have saved my switch card. But I can, I think, always manually retreat, I suppose. Okay, Mirage Gate. Sable Light. They have two turns, right? Our Palpat is gone, so that's kind of annoying. What are they going to do now? I think their last uh, phase will be yeah, using Blood Moon. Yeah, our Reggie Draco will get knocked out. I know that for sure. And maybe I should have powered myself up already. Precious Trolley can get Reggie Draco. We can actually use that and power up Pokemon here. Sounds like a great idea. Or Precious Trolley, Area Zero under depth and finish this game. Yeah. Precious Trolley, but there needs to be a Pikachu in play first. Three prizes for them. No, two more for us. Two more to go. There's a squack, which we don't need. Uh, I guess we're gonna, we have no shots. But to go for... Like, we can one-shot this guy if we have the Pikachu, which we currently do not have. Precious Trolley. Nah, 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 nah. And they only have two cards left in deck. So they draw, they attack. We can have boss doors from our prizes. So Precious Trolley can get the Pika and knock out the Sableye. Or get the Regidraco and two shot this guy. They need to like attack once, attack twice, attack three times. That's gonna be way too much. I'm just gonna go focus on this. Yeah. And we're also having ancient shenanigans. Okay, let's see. How many energies do we have? Grass, like, oh yeah, we can actually power up the Reggie Draco. One, two, three. Let's go. Boom. And as soon as we go down, we can always still um, draw to Pikachu. Is there boss's orders here? Come on. Boss's orders? Palpat? Yeah, we need Palpat so we can get the boss's orders back. But no, our last prize card is a Palpat. But we have an Ultra Ball and we have the Dragon's Horde. That can allow us to have Turo. And with Turo, we can pick something up. Saddle on Pikachu, Area Zero under that, and game. Let's go. <laughs> what a crazy shenanigans is this. Okay, Red Zard. We are already prepared here with our Reggie Draco. Very strange. I don't think they have any answers here. They come back with Blood Moon. Taking a prize. Okay, we Ultra Ball. Find Pikachu. Yeah, Ultra Ball, Pikachu. Area Zero under depth. And that's pretty much game. And now Pikachu can actually respond to all of this. But that Cologne should not happen. Boss? Who are they gonna take? Who are they gonna take? Pokemon that's already in the discard pile, right? One of these. We have access to Super Rod still. 
Who are they gonna knock out here? That's the question. <laughs> they are really in doubt. Okay, they're gonna go for Reggie Rock. Is that one that's already in the discard pile? It is not. It is not. That's strange. Okay, let's. Okay, we promote Reggie Draco. Get the Pikachu into play. Okay, Reggie Rock is already here. That's crazy. Ultra Ball, get rid of these two. Get their Pikachu. Area Zero under that. Pikachu. Our board enlarges Reggie Rock. We retreat. And we attack with the Pikachu. <laughs> they really like that, didn't they? Pikachu, it's time for you to showcase what you're worth. Luminous, Grass, and Lightning. Very weird attack cost, but that's the best way to power up Pikachu EX in my book. You can also try out the Mirage Gate situation. Uh, Lost Box Pikachu seems pretty nice as well. But yeah, yeah Palpat. Yeah. If I had Palpat earlier, maybe like this list is maybe missing a little bit more Gust. Maybe a Counter Catcher could be nice. Maybe... Pokemon catchers and just go turbo with items and Pokestop could be nice. Maybe you can add in the Terrapagos EX, uh, mainly for its um, second attack. Like the attack that walls off basic Pokemon. That could be nice to be using uh, with a situation like this. Like you can power up any Pokemon with uh, Ancient Wisdom and the Regigigas. Okay, Trolley was not the way we powered ourselves up, but we still were able to win against Lost Box. Quite the weird game indeed, but there's so many options. If the opponent doesn't slap down Manaphy, there are ways where you can just uh, overrun the opponent with like a turn 2 Radiant Greninja. Or turn 1 Radiant Greninja with the help of you drawing enough uh, Earth Vessels. But with Quack, Research and all that, maybe you can even go way Turbo here. Yeah, maybe that could be the thing. Definitely 4 Area 0 under that. Definitely Squackability, Precious Trolley, uh, but all the rest is pretty much up to you. Maybe you can go for Trekking Shoes, Pokestop, and just make sure you go second, turn one attack. But against Dragon-type Pokemon, it's a little bit more difficult, although you can slap 300 with Pikachu. Okay, next game. Opponent can choose whether they want to be going first or second. Um, I'm, I don't mind going second with Regis. I think it's very nice. If you do draw a little bit optimal, you can get away by doing a lot of stuff. Okay. Starting off with this situation, um, we can attach retreat. So I'm actually going to start with Squack, not giving the opponent an idea of what we are playing. And then, uh, okay. Damage pump. Fire energies. All right. That is a unique deck as well. Taking that mulligan. Night Stretcher, not what I want to pull out now. Okay, we're up against Scovellion. Okay, we can slap down Red Eyes, Red Rock, Red Steel. So the original Gen 3 Regis. And then Resurge and Squack and see what we come back with. Entei. I think Scovellion EX and Entei. That's already like two, two prizers that we can definitely take down with our Reggie deck. All right, let's see. A Nuzball, okay. Nuzball, let's get that Pikachu thrown up. Because if we do draw into zero area under depth, maybe we go for Greninja first. Having Greninja by our side feels nice, right? Yeah, they just conceived. Nah, I had a great, great hand. I had a great hand. Yeah, they already, they thought they were up against some sort of a Raging Bolt deck, but that's far from the truth. Far from the truth. Okay, next battle. Let's hope we are up against the same deck. Like, although Scovellion is not like a really a great representation of what the deck is capable of. The Pikachu EX, very great against Lugia. Very great against Regidraco V-Star. And uh, very great against, um, I would say Palkia as well. But depends on if they play Dust Noirs or not. Tails never fails. There we go. I'm going second. I've already uh, established that fact is that going second is better. Research, Squack, Greninja. Okay, maybe we're exposed, but not quite yet. They don't know we're playing Regis. They just see Lightning Energy and uh, Water Energy. So for all they, they know, we are playing Terrapagos with Trumpets. 
That's what they might think. Okay, this is uh, not the greatest hand in the world. I'm gonna start off with Regilecki and then we're gonna be using the sonar to get back our researcher stuff like that. We can still snipe. But they still could still think it's a control deck, so. Yeah. Dusk Noir deck. Ultra Ball, okay. Depends on what deck we're up against here. They go first, they come back with Duskull. Is it Charmander? Oh, Arvin? Arvin goes away here? I don't know if they're gonna slap down Manaphy or not, but the cool thing is that we have energies currently here that allow us to... I'm actually gonna discard all of... Do we discard all of them? For a Seal Stone, Buddy Buddy Puffin. It's gonna be a Charizard list, right? If we squack everything away, I don't believe we're gonna get all the Regis. I don't believe so. So I think I will already attach here. Precious Trolley, what? Well, I'm not the only person using Precious Trolley. Insane. Insane indeed. So maybe we should try and, and aim for like switch card to turn one Greninja place. Research, okay. Um, Nazbol. Don't need to squack right away if we have Radiant Greninja. Radiant Greninja time with Research. Ultra Ball here, okay. Slap down the Registeel. With Ultra Ball, get rid of these. Get Pikachu, or maybe get Squackabilly. I want to go Turbo here, so we're going with that. We will. What do we have in this card? Mm, nothing. Research. We. Area zero under that. Then Nazval Pikachu. We go wide on the board. What do we have? We have our three bench hitters. Now we need Regirock. Regidraco, we Ultra Ball, find Regigigas, although how do we, how many, ah, Sweet Heavy Balls, two Sweet Heavy Balls, okay, and then I'll take this one instead, and now we need Regigigas, alright, Sweet Heavy Ball, Regigigas, Oh, there's a lot of them prized, that's crazy. Uh, Turbo is also prized, unfortunately. Here we go, Regigigas. And now we we have the Switch card as well. Wow, what what can we attack with? Uh, currently we can only attack with... Yeah... <laughs> with these guys. Uh, we could attack with Pikachu, or we can snipe away and knock out... Yeah, we can knock out PG because that's gonna be quite the nuisance indeed. Uh, Ancient Wisdom, Lightning, Lightning, Luminous. And we're also gonna be, I don't know if they're gonna knock us out or not, but I'll just attach one energy here on top of it and go for the targeted bolt. And we're gonna focus on this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, let's go! So turn one attack, as mentioned. Uh, cool situation, we have the Hesuin Heavy Ball again. There was a lot of things prized, so I wonder what they will do. Uh, we have our fully set up Reggie. The Pidgey is gone, so no Pidgeot search options. We can go Candy Zard, knock us out, but then we knock them out with Pikachu if we find Kieran. Yeah, they even not even go for Arvin, so that's cool. Uh, we don't have Kieran quite yet. There's a research though. Um, but I really want to attack with Radiant Greninja here. Like, if we can pull it off, we can get rid of both Duskull. Or Charmander Duskull. Or both Charmanders, you never know. Ultra Ball here. There's probably gonna be a Zard attacking us. I don't mind the attacking Zard. I know that Water Energy is not prized, so we have the Vessel in hand. Um, so I'm actually gonna try and attack with Greninja. 
Okay, they get rid of the Fines Band and, all, and a Fire Energy. Will Zard come into town now, or will it be another PG and, and such charge? Okay, Zard is here. Sure. You wait until you find Kieran. Or now we can actually snipe away, knock out. Yeah, they can actually blow up on one of these Pokemon if they want to with Dust Noir. Dust Noir is kind of tricky for a Pikachu situation, so I think I'll go after both Duskulls. Countercatcher? Ugh, <laughs> Squack, fine. Okay, now that is not the biggest issue. Uh, we can actually get out two Regigigas, by the way. Or get the Fez out if we want to. If we have the Fez, we can actually... Let's just start off with this, right? Uh, since we do plan on going for research, uh, getting this. Water energy, grass energy. Is Kieran in there? Kieran is in there. That would be so cool if we have that. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out together. No Kieran. We do have Night Stretcher. Not that we need that. Uh, we're going to be attaching the water energy here. We're going to be retreating. I'm going to go for Greninja time. And we're going to go for Ancient Wisdom. And we're going to be powering up this Greninja here. Water. This one. This one. Perfect. On top of all of this, we can still go for research, but our hand is actually way too powerful uh, for us to go for that. I could try, I don't know if they have bosses orders. If they have bosses orders, they can take another two prizer, but uh, our main objective actually is to find Kieran. So I'm actually gonna go for that. We don't have Kieran currently, but we can of course use Irida. Tin out the deck, I think like a switch card. And one of these, I suppose. And then even draw more cards. Still no Kieran. But that's fine. Moonlight Shuriken. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Now let's get rid of these little fellas. <laughs> no dust calls for us. Thank you. Another Pikachu. Maybe I should have let them blow up a Dust Snore, but this is fine. They're gonna knock out Raiding Greninja. We're gonna draw some more with Fez. Ultra Ball. They could boss if they want to. Ultra Ball, Luminian boss. But then there's Luminian in play. Then there is a Luminian in play, which we can boss up. We don't have Palpat quite yet, but. Oh, Roxanne. Okay. Counter catcher as well, what? Why do they always have everything? Uh, Roxanne, okay, we can actually go for the play of 90-90, unless they have Manaphy, I don't know if they have Manaphy. Charmeleon, it prevents all effects of attacks, damage is not an effect, so there's that. It'll have to be the 90-90 snipe again of Greninja, I suppose. And then use Kieran later, oh, Manaphy, no, terrible. Two prizer, yeah. Definitely gonna be attacking with Greninja again. Even though it's only on the active. Precious Trolley. Mm. I don't know if they can boss around this. I don't know. But I cannot attack with Radiant Greninja if I use the gift energy here. Hmm, tricky. Maybe. We're gonna have to attack. If we attack with Pikachu, it's not gonna be good enough. I'm gonna be equipping a Gift Energy here. And I will also use Ancient Wisdom. And I will... Yeah, this is not great. Not great at all. We can still attack with Pikachu. Ah, this Gift Energy should not be there. Yeah, that was a mistake, in my opinion. That was a mistake. Or was it? Yeah, sure. Let us swing with this. We're gonna retreat. Get rid of this. 
actually get rid of the energy here. I should have actually used that to draw cards, to be honest. Uh, Earth and Vessel. We have more energies that we can use to draw cards with. Dragon's Horde. Okay, here's the Palpat. That's cool. Uh, Palpat. And I'm actually going to get in Boss's Orders Research. Concealed cards as well. More switch cards than ever before. Okay, 160 damage. Not the craziest damage output, that's for sure. But we can finish off with Pikachu later. So. And I don't know if they're gonna have more gusts. They've already wasted down two counter catchers. They think it, they could still have boss in our discard pal. Yeah, we didn't find Kieran, so that's annoying. PG. Also an energy on the Radzard. If they have boss, they're in a very great position to win. We currently are in a very bad situation. Uh, I wanted to use that gift a little bit better, but yeah. It all comes down to what we draw now. Arvin. That's not a boss. Yeah, this Zard is kind of annoying. Maybe a TM Devo could be interesting. Like. Probably Kieran is the better way. Oh, they're gonna get out uh, the, their Duskulls. Maybe they have a Buddy Buddy Poffin in hand, which is very likely. Or oh, two Fire Energies going back. Yeah, maybe attacking uh, attacking with the Ninja was better because then we can draw cards with Draco, but I've already proactively drawn cards now, so. Okay, what can we do now? Ultra Ball that allows us to get Reggie Draco again. Okay. Uh, okay. Ultra Ball, get rid of this, get rid of that. Reggie Draco is back. And then I hope they don't have boss, right? We can even draw more cards with switch cards. So we can assume Heavy Ball. Registeel. I don't think they're gonna go after Registeel, in all fairness. Uh, we're gonna be powering up our Pikachu. Uh, okay, this, this, and this. We're gonna be retreating. Draw some more cards with this guy. No boss for us currently. Concealed cards. research that's also no boss so but we knock out literally everything afterwards so let's just hope they don't have candy candy pigeon boss that's what we need to hope for they shuffle in energies again but yeah so put an energy here so we can retreat now maybe i should have gone for research here because if charizard ex comes now we don't have a way to stop it. We have the Turo though, so if they attack us, we can actually Turo it up. Do it again. Do they have boss? Do they have Cologne? I should have gone for research, right? So I, and, uh, they have boss regardless, it didn't matter. Yeah, very close game up against Zard with this uh, build. I couldn't find Kieran in time, so I had to two shot the Zard. But yeah, you can attack with Greninja. Which is super cool. You can uh, do a lot of funky stuff with this Greninja deck. Actually with this uh, Regis deck. So check it out for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys uh, will test out the deck for yourself. Uh, we will actually play uh, one more game with it uh, to see what the true potential is. But I have seen that attacking with like multiple options. Think about Radiant Greninja, Pikachu EX and all that is really, really fun. Is it really, really consistent? Probably not, but it's fun. Okay, last battle for today. With uh, a fitting Pikachu coin. Looking like the older version of Pika. I 
I want to go second. I have seen that the deck works better going second. Starting off with the Squack is not bad. We have the Research on top of this as well. Area Zero under depth. Ooh, we're up against Reggie Draco. I'm very curious to see if we can get a turn one Pika attack. That would be nice. Definitely with this hand, it is possible. Fast and the active, they could get the Cleffa up front. I don't want to see the Cleffa to be honest. I want to be. They don't know uh, what they're up against. They attach to Fez. That's not a good sign. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get that turn one attack off. That would be amazing. Okay, let's see here. This one, this one, uh, Nuzball, Greninja. Area zero under death. Burton Bustle, these. This one, this one. Concealed cards. This one here. Research away. Regirock. We are still not there quite yet. We have Luminous Energy, which is enough to power ourselves up if we find enough of the Regis. So we need to find Regigigas or Precious Trolley. Precious Trolley would do it. Or this works as well, I guess. No, one, two, three, four. We are still missing out on one. And that is Registeel. Unfortunately, Registeel did not show up to the party quite yet. Dang, we can always retreat, use Registraco. We have boss, but nothing else. We have the uh, Radiant Greninja. So as soon as we, <laughs> an energy to pass, I don't know, no? Not even dead, what? Okay. Uh, all, all comes down to uh, if Radiant Greninja can find. Yeah, there's the Ultra Ball. That is game. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Registeel. <laughs> That's so much fun attacking with Pikachu EX. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Ancient Wisdom. I'm powering it up and finishing opponents. So, Lightning Energy and Grass Energy. They're really, they're really uh, devastated about all of this. Attack! So that's how you play the Regigigas deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, fun little video about Regigigas. If you did, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. It helps out in ridiculous ways. You have no idea. I'll be making more content. Let me know in the comments what you want to be seeing up next. And definitely check out the sponsors that make the videos possible. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG videos. Peace.